Total DualSense or the Xbox Series X controller? Which one is better? Let's get into it in this video, guys. So here we have the DualSense and Xbox Series X controller. This is probably a video that I probably should have done around the time that these things were going to release. But better late than never, we're going to be talking about what controller is better. Maybe you guys are looking to getting a PlayStation 5 or an Xbox Series X soon. Hopefully you guys can fight through the scalpers and the bots online and pick one of these consoles up. And we're going to be taking a look which one might fit you guys. Maybe you guys never own the PS, a PlayStation and own Xbox or vice versa, own only Xbox and looking to get a PlayStation 5. We're going to be discussing the controllers here in this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. I'd really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Without further ado, get into the video shall we all right guys so the first controller that we're going to be talking about here today is going to be the dual sense now here we do have the dual sense and the series x controller and i'll give you my favorite controller out of both but here we do have the dual sense and what i like about the dual sense is the sleekness of the controller we're going to be talking about the things that they did bring to the dual sense new features like on top, we do have a USB-C port. So like the DualSense 4, we no longer have that sucky uh, little micro USB cable, I believe it was. And then another cool feature that the DualSense does have is the haptic feedbacks on the L2 and R2 triggers. So when you're playing, you know, single player games or even online games like Call of Duty, when you hold down the R2 to shoot, you feel that haptic feedback if you guys are having are using a heavier weapon you guys do feel more of a pressure or you guys are playing horizon zero dawn you guys feel the haptic feedback on the bow so that's really cool and it's a nice more interactive feature when playing you know single player games usually you do want to turn it off when playing multiplayer games and in my experience it does kind of get in the way especially when playing very competitive games not so much of a good feature there in my opinion Another cool feature that we do have is built-in speakers. So if you guys aren't using your mic, you can actually talk through the speakers on the controller and your friends will hear you. So that's a cool little, nice little feature in case you don't have your headset on deck. You guys can actually, you know, quickly talk to them or just talk to them in general. You guys don't want to put on your headset. You guys can do so. So that's another cool feature. Now... Of course, the main features here on the DualSense is the haptic feedback, the adaptive triggers. You do have a more of a rumbling with these new controllers. The DualSense is actually heavier from past PlayStation controllers like the DualSense 4. So those are some of the features. Of course, you can also mute with the mute button here in the middle under the PlayStation logo. You guys can mute there, of course, as well. So pretty cool. Nice little features that the DualSense does have. And it does feel good in the hand. It doesn't feel bad. It is of a longer form than the Xbox Series X controller. Now, moving on to the Xbox Series X controller. We do have some new features here with this controller. Of course, the main one being here in the middle. We do have a third button opposed to two. And that is the share button. So now you guys can quickly share and save photos and videos while playing games you guys want to save a clip it's as easy as hitting a button right there in the middle our next feature that we do have here is of course another obvious one and that's the d-pad now this d-pad feels really good the buttons are very responsive in my opinion so they are very useful especially if you guys are playing fighting games they will come in handy now another little feature is in the back and in the triggers they do have grip themselves so when you guys are playing of course those shooter games having that grip you know stick to your fingers does come in handy and it does have it all over the controller in the back and in the handles and honestly my favorite controller out of both of these is the xbox series x controller this controller just feels good in the hand in my opinion especially since i have bigger hands it just feels right at home in my hands very snug and the fact that xbox 
is pushing out all these cool limited edition controllers you have the volt red the electric bolt the pulse red i mean the electric bolt you have the new forza horizon limited edition controller which i will be unboxing here on the channel so stay tuned for that one and with the dual sense we've only gotten two new colors which is this one right here the black one and we did get a red one as well but xbox already has like six different colors so if you guys are actually trying to decide whether the controller is an important factor if you guys are used to xbox controllers this one's gonna feel even better on the hands because this one is actually smaller than previous ones just by a snudge not a crazy amount just by a snudge but the dual sense it's you know like a dose a dual sense 4 is gonna feel still good on the hand but my go-to controller is a xbox controller now the cool thing about both these controllers as well is that you can sync them like with an ipad i did do a video on how to do that i'll have it linked on top if you guys want to go check that video out but you can do that of course the xbox controller does connect with the pc as well android devices very you know user friendly with a lot of devices so that's another cool little feature but yeah guys that's pretty much it with these both controllers now again my go-to controller is the xbox series x controller i really like that controller very good on the hands feels right at home very snug and that's pretty much it with this video guys hopefully you guys enjoyed it if you did make sure you hit that thumbs up button i'd really appreciate it if you're new to the channel again please consider subscribing guys we do live stream here on the channel from time to time i really appreciate it. you guys can come on by anytime you know talk, talk about video games you guys, you guys have any questions about these controllers you know feel free to come on by and ask some questions again i do have some of these controllers unboxed here on the channel i have some of those videos in the description down below or cards on top throughout the video you guys want to go check that out and yeah guys Hope you guys have a good one and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Take care. Peace.